So warmest greetings and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Syndicate. You know, I hear this game was originally named Assassin's Creed Victory, and I think that's a better name. I mean, I think Syndicate is kind of... I don't know. Victory is more so my taste. But let's get next to... Let's get right on the, uh, the next missions. Honestly, Jacob picked the worst gang color imaginable. I don't know why he did that. Hi, Evie. What is this place? It's nice to meet you both at last. This is Babylon Alley. Here we make it our business to know the streets and provide children with the opportunity to control their own destinies. Clara, Mr. Green said we might be able to help one another. In exchange for our services, we ask a small favor. Well, why not? You seem to have taken most of my money. Why not take a small favor too? There are several factories about the city that are powered almost entirely by child labor. Those children work long hours with little pay, and most are not permitted even to leave the factory grounds. They suffer terribly. I need you to save them. A small favor. In return, we offer you intelligence. Something you clearly need. Oh, hold on a minute. I'm late for an appointment. What are these terms? We accept. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. That was weird. Reach the warehouse. Oh boy, it's only 62 meters away. Are my rooks still with me? No, they're not. So it's kind of like having assassins like you did in Brotherhood, only they don't actually assassinate people, they just kind of walk up and punch them. Trigger the alarm. Bloody children. I think he, but you must replace a brat every other week. <laughs> nice. Blooming oh, but he's up to no good. You're free. Thank you, mister. I found ya. It's a martyr to hide. Keep working. We ship out next week, and we are far behind schedule. There's got to be a better way up here than just... Time for all this stealthy crap. I'm Jacob Fry. It's time to beat that ass. Come here. No, 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 that's not what I'm trying to do. I was trying to climb the thing, get a better vantage point. But no. Hey, boys. 
Am I now? Alarm's dead, bitch. Now so are you. It takes care of that, doesn't it? I'm gonna be honest. I wasn't sure how I'd feel about this game. But I'm really starting to dig it. Especially after the way Unity was. Like, Unity it wasn't a bad game, but it was just way too different for my tastes. This is kind of a, a bit of a return to farm so far. Now we gotta go up top. Don't worry, kids, I'll save you. Keep quiet. I'm here to help. Much appreciated, mister. That's that. Jacob, how you doing? Hi. Do your thing, bro. I don't judge. Alright, so we got one more mission to get to. I will catch you there. Hello, Evie. Alright, now see, here's the thing, okay? Let's talk about the hoods for a minute. All right. I don't see so, Mr. Well, obviously you see we what tried. they were going for here with the whole, you know, day and night, you crouch and you put your hood on, and then you don't crouch and you take your head off thing. The problem with that it's is, this. like, it's... Are you trying to blow the gaff? What? Sergeant Abilene, at your service. I presume you're the Fry Twins Green mentioned. The problem with that is, to be a policeman. as good as an idea as that sounds on paper, be because of the different ways that the twins play, it means that this being that Jacob work. so far has been the main character, I will give you the names of you know, criminal gang members. Um, you and his play we'll style is more brute me. force. There's no real Quietly. reason to put the hood on. Oh, we'll be as quiet as an old lady. Which means that Very hairy, you know, half the time he isn't wearing his like hood, and it's like. Am I playing an Assassin's Creed game? You know what I'm saying? It's like, with Evie, you know, she's built more around stealth, so it makes sense. Her whole, you know, crouch and put the hood on, stand up and take it off kind of thing. But with Jacob, you're almost never in this mode right here. So there's no point. Reach high ground. It's over and I can... Don't try it. Bounty hunt. Take the captive and bring them to the drop off point. So, how do I bring them alive? Oh, come on. How did he see me? <laughs> it's nobody. Meet my blade. What is it that you think I've done? I'd rather not hurt you. 
don't think Walk I won't. On, Get off me! Piss off! Oi! Shut your gob. Meet my blade. What is it that you think I've done? Come on now. Oh, come on. What is this? Why can't I put it in the vehicle? What is going on? Honestly, what is going on? This is so fucking stupid. Do I need to put it in this vehicle right here? That's so weird. You, you're with me. He'll be handling the resistance. Why can't I put his body in here? Oh. This just was not wanting to cooperate with me. How do I drive again? Easy girl. Easy. Jesus. It's like GTA and Monday. Except nobody wants to move out the way. Whoa now. How are things? Watching him for I'm first right. And you Everybody in. Just in case we encounter some resistance. That's a girl. There we go. That was so weird. We'll be glad to see him behind bars. Thank you. That was weird. I'm gonna rate it about a three. I like the concept, but I didn't like its execution. I guess gang war. Interesting. Now, I hope that all this stuff that we're doing right now is not something that's going to be too forced on me. Because I really don't want this to be a repeat of what happened with Mafia 3. You know what I'm saying? That shit got old very quickly. It was always, you know, clear out the area of all the gang side activities so that you can actually do the main mission. And it was... It was awful. So, um, I will catch you when I get to the next area. All right, here we go. I hope the game didn't just ah, freeze. There you are. All that stands between you and Whitechapel is the villain controlling the borough. Gaylock has demanded you settle the claim for territory in a gang fight. His loss? Yeah. I'm sure you can put this to better use than I can. Oh, what's this, Greeny? Assassin Christmas. <laughs> Gather your allies. There was even a bloody bow and rip. Should be interesting. You need to be level three. I'm gonna keep these equipped for Jacob. Just because Mr. Rexford the outfit he has on right now improves, you know, the brass station. knuckles. 
He's bet his train on the fight. He's bet his train on the fight. Excuse me? What do we bet? I'd like a train. No chaos. Hmm. No matter. Hey there. You get back here with my train. Dodge a bullet. How do you block a bullet, dude? What? What is this thing? It appears to be broken. Oh well. At least we have a train now. It's not all bad. That, that went mostly well. I'm still trying to figure out... How exactly to keep the... Get the multi-kill going. Like, I can do it sometimes, but other times he'll just... You know, straight up kill him. I'd rather throw myself to the tracks and run Bertha another mile for that doughty bow bag. Kaylock? <laughs> He's left the station. Mel! Hello, fancy pants. And who might you I'm Evie Fry, and this is my brother, Jacob Fry. Pleased to meet you. I'm Agnes McBean. A delight. I thought I was getting a promotion. I suppose I'm out of work now. Come work for us instead. <laughs> I ain't bail your heat. You pay better than scraps? Oh, I'm sure we can at least match that. <laughs> then may I present to you Agnes and Bertha, lady and locomotive, at your service. I'll be in the next car. A hide out on the rails? What an excellent idea. Yes, it all worked out rather well. Now, I would like to follow up a lead on... 
Jacob? Is this serious? I'm not doing anything until this gets fixed. I believe I know someone who can help with that. I knew you would, Greeny. Hi. You know, a mite of money goes a mickle bit in this city. Think of the power of good you can do with the purse you bring. Where do I go to collect my income? Oh, right here. You talk at a store in London. Well, now's your chance. That there map shows who to speak to. Old friends, if you will. Give me a whiff of that sterling, and maybe you can save us all from having to lay down our knife and fork afore we're ready. Gang upgrades. So how Oh okay, so some of this stuff costs money. Shit, I don't have enough for that. Okay, I see how this works now. I get how this how this kind of works now, but I'm not sure where to get the resources. Like, can I just buy them? Cause my gang members could be level five, but I'm not even level five. Jesus. Outdoorsman outfits. Hardened leather gauntlet. Oh! Bring my train back! What kind of get back here! How do I Oh man? Fuck it. Perhaps I should put on some better gear? Let's see. Yes. You need to be level three. And I'm still good old level two. Got any skill points? Yes, I do. Let's see. Let's roll with that. Well, I'm level three already. I guess that works. Angel's knuckles. That's better. That's more like it. What do these belts do for me? I'll go with that. I guess it's time to upgrade Eevee now, too.
let's see. Let's get her up to speed. That'll come in handy because I, I get the feeling I'll be doing stealth with her a lot. And I might be botching it up, but if I can get that that first hit off, that'll that'll be good for me. What is her outfit? Increase cane sword damage. I guess we'll go with that. Hey, let's just stick to the basic outfit for now. Let's switch back to Jacob. Because I just realized I can upgrade my gauntlet. I'm gonna give him this one and I'm gonna switch back to Eevee and give her the red one because I think her outfits doing this whole black and red thing will look better on her yeah Alright, so now that I've been tinkering tinkering around in the uh, the outfit settings, it's at this point that I want to thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to see more, share this video around, share it with your friends, share it with other YouTubers, guys. I don't care. Do what you can do to help me out. I will catch you in the next part later on.